Hi again, let's talk a little more about uh, auto layout in Xcode. And in the last example, I, you know, I created this layout here and I have a button and then I have a view and I'm using the um, distance to leading and trailing edges to set the width of these views so they fill the, um, the container here. And you can see in the preview, when I'm in landscape mode, you know, the box keeps the distance here and it's, you know, the view spreads to fill. And when I'm in this mode, I have this, right? And it, it still spreads to fill, but it's, it, the box is, the width is narrower, so it doesn't, you know, you know, it changes width to, 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 to adjust itself, right? Um, and that works pretty good, but when I'm in the, the, the landscape mode, the height is fixed because we assigned a height to this. So now the height is too tall and it overlaps the button here. What if we wanted to keep a constant distance between two objects? Well, auto layout allows you to do that. So there's a constraint for that and you can set a constraint for the leading edge and trailing edge to the super view, which is the container object. But you can also set the uh, distance between an object and it can go on any of the edges. So what I'm gonna do here first is I'm gonna find the, uh, the height constraint and it's this one right here and I'm gonna remove it. So I'll, I'll find it and delete it. And then what I wanna do, and now auto layout says that there's not enough constraints to set the position of this thing. And so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna drag this down to about here. And what I wanna do is I wanna tell auto layout that the bottom of this box should always keep this distance from the top of the button. Okay, and to do that, I'll use the control key and I'll click on the, I'm holding the control key and then I'll click on the, the box or the view and drag it down till the, this blue arrow is on top of the button. And then I'm gonna get a little menu here and I can say, you know, set, you know, left, center, right, equal height and width, but at the very top it says vertical spacing. So when I choose this one, it's gonna add one of those little spacers like we saw before, but it's gonna add one of the little spacers between the button and the view. And so when I do that in landscape, you can see that it adjusts the height, so there's always this much space at the bottom. And when I go in this mode, then it adjusts the height, so there's always that much space, right? And so the box kind of stretches to fill this area. And I, I use the margins here, so my box goes all the way to the you know, just to the edge and there's a margin, but you know, it could go all the way to the edge of the view. Um, let's adjust it. Maybe I'll, I'll delete all these um, constraints here. Maybe I'll delete them off the button too. So those are all gone, right? And uh, you know, if I, if I adjust the size of this view, something like this, and then maybe Know, grab the corners here like this could go all the way to the edges you know and if I want to maybe I even want them just to be to meet like this you know um, and that's fine too so if I if I click on this guy and I go to the pin menu I can choose you know um, constrain to the top edge leading edge trailing edge and then I'll I'll add those three constraints and then I'll do the same with the bottom one. So the bottom one though, we're gonna set the leading and trailing edges, but now we're gonna also do distance to bottom, right? And I can set those constraints. And so now what I wanna do is I wanna give this guy a height also. I guess I could have done that in the last step, but I'll do it here. So now it's got the right height. So now I can do the distance here. And this one, it's just a little weird. You can't see the constraint for this, but I'll control, click, and drag to the button and set vertical spacing. And that one, like you don't see the constraint there because it's there's no space between the object, but you can see now the, the gray box fills the entire screen and it meets the button here even when we're in um, landscape or uh, portrait.